There have been many articles and videos circulating to suggest that the verse related to the expansion of the universe is a modern translation that is not supported by the Quran commentaries and the Arabic language. They state that Muslim apologists have translated it this way to make it seem miraculous. Now the fact is, the expansion of the universe is one of the most imposing discoveries of modern science. Today it is a firmly established concept and the only debate centers around the way this is taking place. So this will be a two-part series that will explore this verse according to the classical Quran commentaries as well as the Arabic language, including classical Arabic dictionaries. So please stay tuned for that. So do classical commentaries of the Quran support the translation of the expanding universe? Let's have a look. So we have a, um, a scholar, a Zamakhshari, who died in the 11th century AD. And in commentating on the verse, he mentions a few things. And all these things are related to the meaning of Musi'un. So in this case, the meanings that we get from the word Musi'un is that it means the encompasser of the heavens. And that's physically, obviously, with power and strength encompassing it all, as well as having knowledge of it, obviously. And it means the provider as well, from the heavens, whether it's physical provision or spiritual provision. And also, it has the meaning of to be the expander. So all these meanings are alluded to in this verse. Okay, now, before I, I, we go to the Sanat Arab, which is the classical dictionary I want to draw attention to, I just want to just do a simple morphology lesson with you, just for to show you the actual word Musi'un and where it's actually derived from. In this translation, which I, I like this translation, it says, we are its expander, which is quite a good translation because this is actually an active participle. It's the one engaged in the act of Osa. So the actual verb is... Osa, and then we get the active participle, the one engaged in this action, is actually Musi'. Now here it's Musi'un. Musi'un is a plural, and that's the plural of majesty. So we say, so actually look in the verse, we constructed with strength, and indeed we are to expand our. So that's where we get Mu. So that's the that's the verb, and that's the one engaged in in this particular verb, the doer of the verb, and Musa. In actually, in Arab, um, the author Ibn Mandur he actually talks about the following verb. So that's the relation between Osa and Musa. So that's just a quick uh, comment on that. It says, do classical dictionaries of the Arabic language support the translation that the word Osa? means expanding. This is actually a scan, so I apologize for the quality of it. It's from the Sal Arab. And the author died in the 13th century AD. And interestingly enough, he actually quotes in the actual meaning of the verb Osa, he actually mentions the actual verse in question and then comments on it. Now, I want to highlight this part. And especially here, it says, Notice that's exactly the same quote of Zamakhshari. So this, this is one point to note, is that scholars, it's not about somebody coming and reading the Qur'an and then interpreting the Qur'an the way he thinks it is. No, it's not, it doesn't work this way. So there are many qualifications that somebody needs. And if you notice, if you study tafsir, you'll notice that opinions are transmitted through an unbroken chain back to the companions of the Prophet, who, who obviously got it from Rasulullah Then we have the last, the bottom sentence. It says, 
Osa'a bimana wasa'a. Now, wasa'a, there's no doubt it actually means to expand something. So, osa'a has multiple meanings, as we said. It means um, to provide for someone, it means to to encompass something, it means to have power over it, to encompass it in knowledge, it could mean, it could mean a number of things. It also could mean to expand. So, um, I don't want to get into too technical details. It says that the form two verb, which is wasa'a, has the same meaning as the verb used in the verse, to expand something. But it doesn't say that the expanding is ongoing, or does it? Inshallah, we'll find out in part two of this series. Okay, so this is part two of the series, The Quran and the Expanding Universe. The verse in question is the following. And the actual word in question is Musi'un and what it actually means. Now, a few things to note about the word Musi'un is that it's a noun, that it's an active participle, and that it's a plural. Now, the plural aspect of it is just there to denote the majesty and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The plurality is not in question here. What is in question here is the fact that it's a noun. Now, the word in question is an active participle, as I mentioned, rather than a verb. So what is the difference between using a noun derived from the verb, such as an active participle, and the verb itself? To understand the difference, please watch this two-part series if you haven't already. And this will demonstrate the difference between the verb and the noun usages in the Quran. So I recommend you to watch those two parts if you haven't already done so. This will give one a better understanding of the word in question. So it is clear that the active participle indicates either a state or one who engages in action continually. Meaning that he's doing this action over and over and over again. So that's what the active participle indicates, as opposed to the verb. As we showed you, the verb indicates just an action with a beginning and end that is defined within a specific period of time. Now, part of the miraculous nature of the Qur'an is that it uses a word or words that have more than one meaning. And all these meanings are intended. So in the case of this particular verse, the word Musi'un has a number of meanings and all these meanings have been mentioned by the classical scholars of Quranic commentary. If one looks at the classical commentaries the following meanings are explained by these scholars. So Musi'un means to encompass the heavens. How does Allah encompass it? Either encompassing it physically meaning that he has power over it through knowledge that he, he knows everything that goes inside it and obviously authority, that he has authority over it. Now it's possible that Allah Taala could have used a different word. For example, he could have used the word, instead of saying, وَإِنَّ لَمُسِعُونَ This part here, he could have used, إِنَّ لَقَادِرُونَ That we are, that we have complete power over it. But when he said مُسِعُونَ, he meant all these meanings. So as, as we said, the first meaning means to compass. The second meaning, means to provide for his creation. So Musa is one that provides for his creation. Where is provision from? It's from the heavens. Either physically, for example by the rain that he sends down, which brings life to everything on the earth. Without the rain, there will be no life. Or it could be spiritual provision. And we know that everything that one has as a provision is actually written and is decreed by al Taala. And it's been written down in Allah al Mahfuz, in the preserved tablet. And the third meaning, and this is also, I mentioned this in part one, it means to expand something or to make something vaster. So it's to a physical expansion of the heavens. So all these meanings are in the classical commentaries and the classical dictionaries. Now there's one point, as I mentioned in the last video, is that how do we know that this is 
taking place constantly because we have expansion is an ongoing process. You'll notice that all these actions, the meanings that we talked about, are represented by a noun, musi'un, and it's not a verb. So these acts of encompassing, of providing sustenance, of expanding, are not confined to a particular time. So a noun, as opposed to the verb, indicates one, a perpetual state, or two, one who engages in action continually. It's very clear in the language of the Qur'an that the expanding universe is mentioned specifically. It's one of the meanings in the word Musi'un. Now the fact that people didn't know that, that the universe was expanding is actually proof that the Qur'an is the Word of God. Scientists prior to the last century didn't know that the world was expanding. Now this is the same verse but what I've highlighted here are two particles of emphasis. We have the inna and the la. Now if we go to the verse that comes after it, it says وَالْأَرْضَ فَرَشْنَاهَا فَنِعْمَ الْمَاهِدُونَ And the earth we spread it out and excellent is the preparer. Um, there's no emphasis in this particular verse. This, this comes straight after it. So the first one's talking about the heavens and there's emphasis there. A double emphasis. While on earth, there was no emphasis. So, the question is, why? Is not Allah SWT trying to show you that this process of expansion is not a random process based on chance or, or an explosion that took place with no cause, but is due to his own divine will and power. And the fact that he's mentioned it and emphasized it in the Quran, this should really get you thinking. Is it not time that you accepted the truth and submit to him? The one who has power and knowledge over all things.